I just thought, that if humanity started going really bad, there should be a way to end it. I'm not really sure. All I know are the rules, and the guesses that Samuel and I had about why it's here. I didn't think to ask back when I started here. Rules? What rules? asked Jack. The rules are that I can't tell anybody about it, or let them touch it, unless they agree to be bound to secrecy by a bite, and that only one human can be bound in that way at a time. That's it, explained Nate. Jack looked somewhat shocked. You mean that I could pull the lever now? You'd let me end humanity? Yep, replied Nate, if you want to. Nate looked at Jack carefully. Do you want to, Jack? Um, no, said Jack, stepping a little further back from the lever. Why in the world would anyone want to end humanity? It'd take a psychotic to want that. Or worse, a suicidal psychotic, because it would kill him too, wouldn't it? Yep, replied Nate, being as he'd be human too. Has anyone ever seriously considered it? asked Nate. Any of those bound to secrecy, that is? Well, of course, I think they've all seriously considered it at one time or another. Being given that kind of responsibility makes you sit down and think, or so I'm told. Samuel considered it several times. He'd often get disgusted with humanity, come out here, and just hold the lever for a while. But he never pulled it, or you wouldn't be here. Nate grinned some more. Jack sat down, well back from the lever. He looked thoughtful and puzzled at the same time. After a bit, he said, So this makes me the judge of humanity? I get to decide whether they keep going or just end. Me. That seems to be it, agreed Nate. What kind of criteria do I use to decide? said Jack. How do I make this decision? Am I supposed to decide if they're good, or too many of them are bad, or that they're going the wrong way? Is there a set of rules for that? Nope, replied Nate. You pretty much just have to decide on your own. It's up to you however you want to decide it. I guess that you're just supposed to know. But what if I get mad at someone, or some girl dumps me and I feel horrible? Couldn't I make a mistake? How do I know that I won't screw up, protested Jack. Nate gave his kind of snake-like shrug again. You don't. You just have to try your best, Jack. Jack sat there for a while, staring off into the desert that was rapidly getting dark, chewing on a fingernail. Suddenly, Jack turned around and looked at the snake. Nate, was Samuel the one bound to this before me? Yep, replied Nate. He was a good guy, talked to me a lot, taught me to read and brought me books. I think I still have a good pile of them buried in the sand around here somewhere. I still miss him. He died a few months ago. Sounds like a good guy, agreed Jack. How did he handle this when you first told him? What did he do? Well, said Nate. He sat down for a while, thought about it for a bit, and then asked me some questions, much like you're doing. What did he ask you if you're allowed to tell me? asked Jack. He asked me about the third request, replied Nate. Aha! Uh -huh. It was Jack's turn to grin. And what did you tell him? I told him the rules for the third request. That to get the third request, you have to agree to this whole thing. That if it ever comes to the point that you really think that humanity should be ended, that you'll come here and end it. You won't avoid it, and you won't wimp out. Nate looked serious again. And you'll be bound to do it too, Jack. Hmm. Jack looked back out into the darkness for a while. Nate watched him, waiting. Nate, continued Jack, quietly, eventually. What did Samuel ask for with his third request? Nate sounded like he was grinning again as he replied, also quietly. Wisdom, Jack. He asked for wisdom, as much as I could give him. Okay, said Jack, suddenly, standing up and facing away from Nate. Give it to me. Nate looked at Jack's backside. Give you what, Jack? Give me that wisdom, the same stuff that Samuel asked for. If it helped him, maybe it'll help me too. Jack turned his head to look back over his shoulder at Nate. It did help him, right? He said it did, replied Nate, but he seemed a little quieter afterward, like he had a lot to think about. Well, yeah, I can see that, said Jack, so give it to me. Jack turned to face away from Nate again, bent over slightly and tensed up. Nate watched Jack tense up with a little exasperation. If he bit Jack now, Jack would likely jump out of his skin and maybe hurt them both. You remember that you'll be bound to destroy humanity if it ever looks like it needs it, right, Jack? asked Nate, shifting position. Yeah, yeah, I got that, replied Jack, eyes squeezed tightly shut and body tense, not noticing the change in direction of Nate's voice. And, continued Nate from his new position, 
Do you remember that you'll turn bright purple and grow big horns and extra eyes? 